Hello, F5. Welcome to your math lesson for today. So today we're going to continue with the statistics, but we're moving on to look at this graph, which is called a line graph. Now, on our line graph, we have two lines, which on a graph we call on a line graph we call them an axis. So this line here is the x-axis, and the line going up is the y-axis. We then have these little dots, which are the coordinates on the graph. We have the subheading or the title of the x-axis and the title of the y-axis. Um, so we can look, when we're reading this graph, depending on the type of question that we're answering, we are able to use our skills of uh, when we're doing map reading and geography and we went along the corridor and up the stairs. We are able to use that with a line graph. So I have some pre-made questions here. Now, the first question asks me to find out. Oh, sorry, let me, tell you what this, let me tell you what the graph is telling us. So this graph is telling us the number of tokens that have been collected by your one, your two, your three, your four, your five, and your six. Maybe some book tokens. Um, now, question one is asking me to find out how many tokens your three collected. So I've got to find out where your three is and find out how many tokens they collected in total. So I could use this geography knowledge of um, along the corridor and upstairs for this kind of question, and that will work. So if I go along the corridor till I get to year three, which is here, and if then I go up to where the it stops, where the point is, and I go across, it tells me that year three have collected 10 tokens all together. So I would just need to write 10. Um, you'll have questions like this similar in your work today. You don't need to write anything about tokens. You just need to write the number, the answer, the figure. OK, now I need to know who collected the most tokens. Now, I, there's two ways I could do this. I could go across each year group, look at year one, year two, or I can see where the highest point of my graph is, which is here. I can see that that is the highest point of my graph which is 50 tokens, so I could go down and actually find out that that is year five, there's a surprise, that year five have achieved the most tokens collected. Now, the second question, the third question is asking me, how many more tokens did year four collect than year two? So this is asking me to look at two different year groups. So if I get another credit pen, uh, two different year groups to get the information. So I need to find the year two and I need to find year four. OK, so I've got to find out how many more tokens year four collected than year two. So that tells me already that I know that year four have already collected more than year two. But I've got to do the maths to find out exactly how much. So again, along the corridor up the stairs, I know that year four collect 25 tokens. I go along the corridor again to year two, I go up the stairs, I can see that year two have collected 20 tokens. So I'm just gonna move this over so we can explore the maths. So year four, which I've done in red, collect 20 five tokens year two collected 20 tokens and then i need well it's quite obvious i can see that they've collected five more so the answer would be five is my answer again in your book in your work you wouldn't need to write five more you just need to write the number we set it up so it just gives you, you just put the answer you don't do any words in you just need to do a, a, a digit number um so that's just a quick introduction to reading line graphs. Um, so remember, you've got your x-axis, your y-axis, your coordinates, and this will tell you how this graph will be used to present data. Um, now, when you move towards Friday's lesson, you're going to be actually creating, you're going to be plotting and creating your own line graph like that. But for today, you're just going to be looking at the line graph quest on the question and answering the question. Best of luck. I look forward to looking at your work. Bye.